All right, now let me show you how to set application icons. First, I'm gonna show you how to do this in Xamarin Studio, and then we're gonna take a look at how to do it in Visual Studio. So in Xamarin Studio for the iOS project, expand the project and double click assets.xc assets. Next, click app icons on the left. And here you see placeholders to drag and drop images for different versions of iPhone and iPad. In each placeholder, you can see the required dimension for the image. This is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna spend any more time on this. Now let's take a look at the Android project. So, in Android project, you right click and go to options. Under build, select Android application. Now here we have a drop-down list called application icon. And when you select this, you see two entries drawable slash icon, which is an image file that comes with the Android project by default, and drawable slash clock, which is the image file we added to our project in the last lecture. Now, if you wanna create a custom icon, look at this icon file placed in different drawable folders, look at the image dimension, and create another image with the same dimension, put it in the drawable folders, and then select it here. So, pretty straightforward. Now, let's see how we can set the application icon in Visual Studio. So here I've got Visual Studio open. For the iOS project, double click info.plist. Next, go to Universal Icons. And here you see the placeholders like the one you saw in Xamarin Studio. Now for the Android project, we right click the project and go to Properties. Now under Android Manifest, Again, you see the application icon drop-down list. And here we have drawable slash icon. So exactly like Xamarin Studio, it's just a different place. And finally for the Windows project, double click package.appxmanifest. Next, open Visual Assets tab. Now Windows project refers to application icon as logo. So you can see we have different placeholders for different logos for different dimensions. We've got a square 71 by 71 pixel logo or a square 150 by 150 pixels and so on. For any of these logos, you can set the path to the logo file here. Now you can see some of these have a default value, which refers to some file in the assets folder. Again, all you have to do is to create another image, put it in the assets and set the path here. Next, I'm gonna show you how to display rounded images in Xamarin Forms apps.